Okay, Dr. Inductor, uh, we're going to talk about types of resistors now, okay? So, we have your typical carbon composition. This is just a rod of carbon, um, like graphite, um, that's ground and mixed with another material, okay? Like an insulating material. So, it will, um, and held together with resin, and that will resist. And then we have carbon film, which is where there's just a thin film of carbon that's wound. So, you can get, um, usually from 1 ohm to 1 mega ohm with those ones, and then we have wire wound. Um, sometimes um, nichromium is used, um, according to Wikipedia, but who trusts Wikipedia? <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll just have a core, and then um, wire will be wound around that, a, resist a resistive wire, okay? The core is an in insulating material. Um, the next one, it's pretty interesting, it's called a photocell, alright? Um, so actually, resistance increases the darker it gets, alright, so the more light, the less resistance, and this is what one looks like, on the top, it, it's just got these, um, it looks like this, it's got this, um, material, and it has two beads, right here, and, yeah, it's pretty cool, um, I've talked about these before, the potentiometers, they just got the wiper, and the, the brush, then the, um, the length of the material um, varies, and then the, that will vary the resistance if you turn the dial. So those are pretty useful. The last one I want to talk about are resistor networks, and these typically look like this. There's a, an insulator with a couple of pins, um, and then the common pin will be um, identified with a dot, okay? So the negative voltage, or the, I don't know, the, I think it's the it doesn't matter, it's a resistor, no, no polarity, but you have one, um, one pin right here, for the power, and then as you go down, the resistance increases, um, at a certain given value, alright, so these are pretty useful, um, I couldn't tell you what they're used for specifically, but they can be pretty useful, okay, we use them in, um, integrated chips, actually, um, using for them, so, yeah, there's basic types of resistors. Let's move on.